What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to start putting some of our pieces back on this junkyard 5.3 liter LS. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to start by putting a new seal in our timing chain cover. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just press this in with your hands. If not, I'll go grab something to tap it in with. Seems like it's going. Alright, so I ended up taking a rubber mallet and a scrap piece of plywood, laying the plywood on top and tapping uh, the seal in. Now that I got that in, I'm going to have a new gasket and I'm going to start fitting it up. And I'm going to use my trusty 10 millimeter to, uh, I'm not going to tighten it down with the impact because I do want to torque them to 18 foot pounds. I'm just going to uh, use the drill for some leg work. I'm also not going to tighten them down to the 18 foot pounds yet until I get the oil pan on because two of the oil pan bolts actually go into this cover and if this is loose you can align it much easier um, because there is play in this cover. Alright I got the engine flipped over um, and I'm going to scrape off where the gasket sits and clean it up before I put the new gasket and oil pan on. Now I'm going to put the factory windage tray back on. I originally took it off so I could see the connecting rods and the bearings and the crankshaft just to make sure there was no apparent damage or movement. So uh, these nuts get torqued to 18 foot pounds and because my torque wrench only goes down to 20, well they're going to be 20. Alright, now that I got the windage tray back on, I'm actually going to have to take off one of those nuts. But I'm going to put the LOJ pickup tube on. And before I put it on, I'm going to determine that this is the nut I need to take off, and I'm going to pull that off now. I have some ATF on my finger and I'm just going to lube up the seal before I put it on. That way we don't rip the seal. And I will get the nut started there. Use the factory nut or bolt to hold the pickup tube on.
Now per the LOJ instructions they say to put RTV on the four corners of the block before putting the gasket on. So I don't know if they're referring to the four mating surfaces or the four corners. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of goob it up I think. Alright, well I just went ahead and put <laughs> it all the way around, so hopefully that's a no harm, no foul type deal. Um, I also just realized that I have a new rear main seal and cover that I can't put on because the engine stand is in the way. So we'll end up pulling that off. And... Yes. Hmm. I guess we'll just go for it. Why not? Worst case is it leaks oil and I redo it. Although that would suck. It would definitely suck. <laughs> Alright, now that I have the oil pan on, I'm going to install this um, oil filter relocation block. And the funny thing is, is <laughs> I forgot about it, so I'll be taking these two oil pan bolts off to put this on. So let me get out of the package, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm taking these out. This block has O-rings that come out, so when I put it upside down, I just want to be careful that they don't fall and pinch. So, like so. And just for reference, front is feed, rear is return. Pretty easy to remember. All right.
right, I have new grommets for the valley cover. So what I'm gonna do is just sit it upside down and I am going to put them in like this. Oops, just like that. And I'm gonna take a mallet. There's one. And there's two, just like that. Now I'm going to place my new gasket down. Making sure I don't snag any of my paper towels. And what you need to do is you need to take this hole and you need to set it on and get it around these. I don't actually know the technical term, but that's where your knock sensor screws into. So. Make sure everything's lined up nice. Up oh, and there you can hear it go. And, oh. That one I'm actually going to, let's see what I want to do. There it goes. Just like that. All right, it's the next day, and that's because I ran out of uh, camera battery. I uh, slept on it last night thinking about why I wouldn't just put a new camshaft in it because these LS, um, especially the smaller, the 4.8 and the 5.3, really react well to a new. Uh, camshaft you know I was thinking um I have to put the harmonic balancer back on the water pump back on the timing cover back on um, the um, power steering pump the alternator bracket and then you know I'll have to take all of that back off to um, put a cam in so Needless to say, I went online to Texas Speed and I decided to get their uh, low lift stage 3 cam. I think it'll be a nice cam for the project and you know, with our Holly ECU we should be able to get right around 420 uh, horse, I think, pretty, pretty easy. And from there, then, I think we'll get crazy and we'll probably um, add some boost. And once we add boost, I'm thinking we can get, I don't know, easy 500. We'll see what happens. So, needless to say, we're going to wrap the video up by putting the knock sensors in. Because I'm going to leave the water pump off and all the front accessories so I can put the cam in. I'm also going to have to do valve spring so I'll leave the valve covers off. So that's where we're at. Now that I got my valley cover torqued down to 18 foot pounds I'm going to drop the knock sensor in and try to get the threads started. I'm sure there it's a metric size but I'm using a 7 8 It will do just fine and it gets torqued down to 15 foot pounds. There it's biting.
All right, now I got my new knock sensor harness, and <laughs> I actually watched a video and Googled whether the blue or the green goes front or back, and I saw a video from 1A Auto, and they were plugging the blue one in the front, so we'll give it a try, and if for some reason it matters, then we can get to it and flip it. Or if somebody in the comments wants to let me know if this is right or wrong, that'd be cool. But we're going to go with it. So press that back down. Nice and clean. We'll get the back one in. Just like that. Cool. And the wiring just goes out the back like that. Now we have knock sensors installed. I think that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, we'll be putting a new camshaft in probably the next video. We'll also be doing um, valve springs, so stay tuned for that. Alright, that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, we didn't get quite as much done as I wanted. But I'm still happy with the results. We got the front cover on, which, as you know, will have to come off to get the camshaft out and the new one in. Uh, we got the LOJ Conversions uh, oil pan in, which is a really nice piece. We got the valley cover, new knock sensors and knock sensor harness on. And we have the Canton uh, oil block for the oil filter relocation on. Uh, before I go though, you know I have to do it. Have to do it. This is our 18 102 millimeter throttle body that we'll be running. I showed this in our last video and if you haven't watched the last video what are you doing? Go take a look at it. I'll have a link to it at the end of the video. But, geez, you just have to put this on. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. If you like what we're doing, leave it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button so you can follow along on our journey. Thanks.